Good afternoon, my name is Scott Rudd, the Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. 观众朋友们，大家好，感谢您收看本期《直击美股》，我是主持人 Julie， 在华尔街向您问好。今天是四月二十六日，星期三。今天股市整体平开，收盘时收跌。特朗普政府今天发布了非常重大的税收改革政策。由于之前曾经宣称这项税收改革将会是史无前例的，并且政府将会加快税收改革的推行进程。因此，华尔街的反应是比较平淡的。本周是非常重磅的财报公布周。今天公布财报的企业包括百事可乐以及推特，这两家企业的财报业绩均好于预期。受此利好影响，推特今日股价大涨。明天即将公布的财报企业包括百度、微软以及苹果等等。我们华尔街多媒体也将会为您持续关注这些企业的财报动向。Hi Scott, the White House unveiled its tax cut plan today. What's its impact on the market? Well, first of all, I hope it gets passed, <laughs> and, and it's just a long way between yeah, now sure. and then. But in in stock market land,、mm -hmm. usually you run up in anticipation of an event, and sometimes they try and sell the news.、Mm -hmm. And today in the afternoon, they had a little sell program.、Yeah. So at this point, you know, if you were long, you know, Monday accumulating stock on the gap up, and you added Tuesday, hopefully you, you did sell some into some resistance, because sometimes when you get to resistance. You know, some sellers come out, and then you combine that with an event, and it was a, a, a cute place to sell. If you follow me on Twitter, Red Dog T3, around the quarter to twelve, I said just be careful for a little Red Dog reversal. You know, with a little rug pull, just in case. Anyway, you go to the chart of the S&P Cash, and you know, entries and exits matter, right, guys? Here was your big gap up, okay, to start the week, which was about 20 handles. Let's look at it a little closer. Okay. From there, we were talking about accumulating, accumulating the spiders, accumulating some of the banks, getting some key names in. So that was here. If you did so, you got paid on Tuesday, and then today, what did it do? This is what a red dog reversal is, guys. It trades above a prior pivot, squeezes some leftover shorts, maybe from here. You try and sell into that, and if it comes back below, then you know maybe we can get a little bit of a rest. Microsoft, Baidu, and Apple are going to release their earnings tomorrow. Would you like to share with us the stocks on your watch list? Yes. Well, if you remember about what a week and a half ago we talked about buying Baidu,、yeah. it was a、yeah. great-looking pattern,、yeah. great weekly pattern. You know, I'm hoping for long-term investors that th they deliver on earnings. What I really loved about Baidu is that a they went from being just search now their artificial intelligence, their autonomous vehicles, you name it, they're doing it. And if you look at this weekly chart of Baidu, you know it's very coiled. Okay, and hasn't done a whole heck of a lot in multiple years. So to me, even though it just had a big move for the day traders, I still think it can go higher. The question is, do you take risk into earnings? If you don't, maybe go out three months, September, October, and buy the the two hundred dollar calls. So if it does go up, you're involved, or wait for the print. Short term, you know, if you've been in it so far and you don't hold for earnings, you know, today, you know, is a decent spot, you know, to sell some, right? This is when it, it accumulated and went above the moving average. Here it broke. Here it held in there. So I would say, you know, I would go out and buy like the one nineties or the two hundreds. Go out three to six months because I think this could have a heck of a move. Or trade it after hours with me on the VTF, depending on what the print is. Let's hope they deliver because guys are looking for a move, and I think the first move would be、uh, probably up to around 200.、Mm -hmm. You talked to us yesterday that you bought oil. What's your expectations of oils? You know what? I, I bought the Exile and oil yesterday, and I woke up today, and they were both down. I'm like, ah,、oh, mm -hmm. broken sector.、Mm -hmm. I was like, maybe the 10:30 number will help me. Cross fingers. And then, <laughs> which I hate to do, but you know, the, the number was oil friendly, and the Exile had a push, and、mm -hmm. oil went green. And I was like, you know what? Got my day and a half day trade.、Mm -hmm. So if you look here, the, you know, the Exile went right into resistance, which on a broken sector sometimes happens. Okay, it traded above this high and got rejected right into the 21 day. So if you bought it. Um, yesterday and added today, you had a spot to sell. At this point, it's still stuck in this downtrend, so I would just take trades. So we shall see. As far as UWT, which was triple long oil, okay,、um, I went over this in my other、uh, scenario here. I bought it on the on the red dog reversal. It actually、um, let's go to the five minute chart. It's easier to see. Went green, okay,、um, gave you a way out of it. How did it give you a way out of it? Right here. Look. So went went home long, bought the dip versus that spot. It then Took off based on the 10:30 number, sold some in there, and then this was my stop. And now I'm not in oil. It was just a day trade. You only want to do day trades for multiple days if they're acting perfect, especially in laggard sectors.、Mm -hmm. Small caps always go ahead of market when rally begins. How do you think about small caps this time? Well, they held in in the afternoon,、mm -hmm. so it's basically saying, you know, we did have a sell program, but the small caps held in there. So that's why I don't think you have to be all out. 
maybe just have a little less on with the hedge. If you look here at the IWM, you know, it's still held above, okay, the what's it called, the, the, the prior high. So with that being said, you know, here was your prior high. Couldn't really get much traction yesterday since look where it came from today. It had more traction, but it's still away from the moving averages. So if this is any um, hint that if it hold, you know, if it's going to make new highs like the, or the S&P will, I would think that this area holds maybe a little cute pull in tomorrow, but probably not much below um, right here. So if, if the IWM stays above this, you know, I think they're still strong. If they stay above here, you better watch out. The action will probably be a little fast. Thank you so much for insights. Tomorrow will be a very big day for the earnings reports. So let's look forward. Yes, and we'll have different types of action tomorrow. We'll mm -hmm. keep moving and grooving, and we'll try and have it for you to keep you profitable and keep you safe. 好了，以上就是本期节目的所有内容了。感谢您的收看，我们下期节目再见。